I'm swimming in love it, in it, shut up thinking about jumping in it, stay. What is going on guys? Good morning. Well, it's not bright and early. It's early. 9.30. I'm on my way back out to the shoe shop. Can't complete my week without going there. So today and tomorrow I'm putting um sorry, two videos in one today. So I'm going out there to work on the elevated deck project. Uh, the owner's taking some time off work, so we're gonna see if we can pound through it before the good weather starts coming and gets super warm. Today it's what's what's Grover say, nine degrees outside. So it's it's not cold. A um, little bit of wind, a little bit of rain, so it, it could be a cold day, but it is what it is. I mean, any day of the shoe swap is a good day in my opinion. Got my coffee. Grover self-driving as as usual. I can have my coffee, talk to you guys, and get on the road. So, if you guys don't know, this is, I think it's part four, maybe part five, sorry, um, of this project. And we're out in the North Shoe Schwab, and it's an elevated deck, so it's up, up about, I say 20 feet, maybe 30 feet up in the air. And we're basically, we're building one deck, but we're splitting into three sections. So there's two full-size deck, and then there's a little deck that's off the master bedroom. Sorry just watching Grover Drive here. Um, off the ba master bedroom, we're calling it Juliet deck because it only goes out about six feet, whereas the other one goes out, I think it's 13 feet out. So we're calling it a Juliet deck. So it, it's a fairly large deck project. We're replacing a deck that was there before. So um, the boards, we're having two that are going this way towards you guys, sorry. And then one that's going like this. And the reason we're doing is that because we're reusing the old structure that was there, it was in good shape. So with the price of lumber these days, we really couldn't justify ripping out perfectly good wood just to change the, the run of the boards. I think aesthetically it's going to look kind of cool anyways, kind of a design. So it is what it is. And then um, we're also going to put a... a deck railing around the entire thing so it's safe for their family maybe down the road the owners talked about putting stairs up to it just for a gathering so people want to wander through their house but that would be way down the road maybe when the Julia deck gets changed to a full size deck the price of lumber these days is redonkulous so like I think it was at Home Depot the other day and like a 2x4, just a framing 2x4 is like 7 bucks Canadian. Like, can you imagine what 2x6 is by 16 and a pressure treat is worth? Like, I think it was $140. I could be wrong, but I'll put the prices up here. But lumber is ridiculous. That's why we're using the old stuff. Oh, sorry, I almost dropped you guys. Oh. Sorry, I've got you leaning against the dash of Grover as I drive here because I want to be hands-free. Got to make myself legal even though Grover's self-driving, but that's okay. I think today I'm going to take Grover and then tomorrow I'll take Shrek. Shrek needs a run, so I might just take Shrek out. <sighs> Any day in the shoe swap is a good day. I'm a little worried about the next two days because I've really had a lot of nerve pain lately and haven't been doing lots of walking, so... This is going to be a tough two days to get through it. But, you know, he, I've said it before, you got to help your friends. and this is, He's a really good friend of mine and I want to help him. So I'm going to go out and, go out and help him and then I'm, I'll be in the chair for at least a week. But next week I'm actually back in Vancouver. So <laughs> Vancouver's calling me. Got to go back there. Anyways, let's get on with the trip here. Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Avley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. 
and every adventure begins with one leg at a time. Well, good morning, y'all. Made it out here to the Norris Shoe Swap. Actually, the weather right now is actually really, really good. It's actually warm. It still says like 12 in Grover, but it's the, the sun's shining and the rain, there's very little rain. So it's supposed to hold out till about four o'clock. So we're hoping to give her till four and then let it rain. And then I'm back here tomorrow. So there's what the deck looks like currently. I'm gonna extend the pole here so you guys get a better look. So we got all the posts in now today we're gonna start the decking put the decking down because that will give us somewhere to work and then we have to reinforce where the poles are so we still have the scaffolding here which is extremely nice it makes life so much easier so the, the thing is the house isn't square and the deck unfortunately is not square so there's gonna be a little bit of jiggling to do with that but the only way to get it is to get started and deal with it as we come I'm just so happy to be out here and in the North Shoe Schwab and breathing some Shoe Schwab air. Just love it out here. So let's get started. So we decided first things first, let's lay out all the decking boards and get something that's solid to be able to sit on to work on the rest of the deck. Unfortunately, when we laid out the deck boards, we are six and a half inches unsquare. So we're trying to figure out the spacing to make sure the deck boards look well. We were able to have a picnic lunch on the deck for the first time. And I think that's probably the first time the owner, owner's been on this deck. So it was an awesome smoky lunch. Thanks, Sue. Okay, so after lunch update here. So if you guys were watching the short there, basically we, sorry, I'm just gonna climb up here. hey there guys welcome to the new deck so we've put the decking down you can see all the railing poles are all in so we're actually doing uh, pre-made railings so it comes with the slots already drilled in the two by fours and then you just pop the metal railings in I'll put a clip up here what it's gonna look like from um, Home Depot it's just a really really cool kit and cost wise it's really good so what we're doing is we're gonna start against the house here and we're gonna work our way out and do like an eighth gap in between. Um, the reason for the eighth gap is just because it's gonna shrink quite a bit. The lumber's quite wet, so it's quite warm with the sun here, but let's get Very started. Nice. So right or wrong, we didn't put a gap in between the boards and I'm really, really hoping they shrink up like the homeowner is thinking, because normally you want that quarter inch gap for breathability, but we didn't leave a gap in it. The wood was really, really wet. Like if you guys remember, it was delivered back in February and there was frost and snow and everything else on it. So it was fairly wet, but I really, really hope that it dries out and gets that gap. Okay, let's. Oh, I felt a breeze. Guys, I feel so lucky to be here. Think about all you guys at home. You imagine sleeping every night with a deck like this, a massive deck. You got the creek sitting there running. You got the birds. And if that's not good enough, you look between the trees and you got the huge shoe swap lake. Does it get better? My, might see us sweating because it's she's a cooker today I'm sure it's not that hot on temperature wise but in the Sun here when we're laying on these boards even these boards are hot so 
but bad day out here a bad day in town is still a good day out here so I know the comments are gonna go crazy but that's what we're doing so you can see we're not doing a gap in between each one at all and the thought is because the stacking so wet that it's gonna shrink up quite a bit so I know the rule of thumb is a quarter inch gap per piece but we bought it in the winter well Scott bought it in the winter so it's really not really had a chance to dry and it's, some of it's pretty twisted so we're hoping it will shrink up enough to give you the the quarter inch gap that we need in between but like I was telling Scott I fall asleep with this kind of outdoor music on YouTube and here they have it naturally just open their patio doors and creek you get the birds I don't know if you guys can see way up there there's the there's the eagle's nest up there it's just incredible so we're this Juliet deck over here is kind of it's sloped down just I don't know a quarter inch or maybe a little bit more so we're overlapping it to kind of pick up that that slack and then what I was telling you guys in the van because we reuse the support the joists are going the other way so it's going to turn the other way and go this way so I think it'll look pretty sharp going both ways the I'm last bit how long is the last bit going to last <laughs> Scott knows I hate dip screws I just think they they strip so easily but they do but they look they're brown and it's a brown deck salesman salesman <laughs> Okay, so mid afternoon update. The sun is back out, so we're cooking again. We're drinking water like it's nobody's business, which is amazing because we normally drink beer, but with the heat the way it is, you gotta drink water. So we're at the last one until we go on this front section, which is notching around the pole there. You see the pole? So we're gonna notch around the pole and then keep going. Um, this front section after the poles, we're going to be laying them all out and then we'll cut it after. We'll just cut the ends off. The deck isn't perfectly square. I know, I was surprised too. I thought it'd be perfectly square. I mean, what kind of carpenter are we? But no. So we're going to have to uh, snap a chalk line and then we'll cut it off. But it's definitely getting stronger with these boards being screwed down. We're only putting two screws at the end and then one screw in between because as it dries we're going to put more screws in um, if you do it too too many screws in you'll make it squeak until it dries so that's that's our theory anyways <laughs> Scotty's bringing up his jigsaw to work around this pole so after that then it's, it's easy because we can um, just screw all these in and just keep notching so that's where we're at and then that's the other side so you get an idea you ever know what a hockey player smells like after a game that's what I smell like right now so believe it or not I'm actually gonna probably skip the steak dinner tonight because I smell so bad <laughs> that's okay it means you've worked right I just love being out here it's just it's incredible You just can't beat it. Little by little, piece by piece, I take back what's been stolen from me. Little by little, piece by piece, until I'm complete. So I think the sun's actually gone behind the clouds now, thank God. But it's still a beautiful day. I'm still glad being out here. Scott's inside changing to a white shirt because he wants to have a t-shirt contest. 
Sue set up an umbrella here for me. <laughs> but I think as summer goes, it's going to get worse and worse. Like So now's the time to pump through. So pretty much after that clip, we called it done for the day. Both of us just weren't prepared for the heat that we're having that day. Scott had planned to have a really nice steak dinner that night, but I just wasn't prepared for it. I I was too smoking hot, and frankly, I was just too stinky. I felt like I'd just been in a hockey game. So I headed back to Camelot and, and licked my wounds for the next day. Now, I know I said I was going to do day six and day seven together, but I decided to split them up as there was just so much good footage from both days. So this is the end of day six. If you guys liked the show and thought it was worth your time, then I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. If not, I just appreciate you watching. Part 7 will be coming out shortly. Thank you so much for watching and have a great afternoon.